All right, we're on the mulch trail. Giving Dan some uh, off-roading testing on the... How you doing, Duff here? I'm at the Naples Greenway, and I'm here with someone else. That is not Cindy, and it is not Deb. It is Dan. Dan is from Massachusetts. Say hi, Dan. Hey, everybody. Hey. Dan is from Massachusetts, and he um, was down here in Florida doing uh, some visiting of friends, and he asked a couple months ago, I don't know, when did you ask me first, Dan? A couple months ago. It was quite a while ago. Yeah. When I was uh, first planning to come down, and I realized that I'd be uh, not super close, but close enough to make a day trip over, and decided to ask if uh, you'd be willing to let me try some of your other bigger wheels. Yeah. Yeah, he's considering uh, the 18XL or the 16X possibly, but I also have brought my um, uh, MSX and I have the M10 III just for fun, just for the hell of it. And we're going to ride here around the Greenway and see uh, see what he thinks. Should be fun. Yeah, so Dan literally is only ever... Driving somebody else's car. Everything's <laughs> the same, but it's different. It's, it's definitely different. He's never ridden another wheel other than his 14D, so he's on the 18XL right now. I'm on the... Um, M soup, uh, the MSX. So I'm sure we will be uh, switching out wheels here several times. But so far, I would say that your impression is positive of the 18L or 18XL. Yeah. Mm -mm. But powerful. I mean, if you're an aggressive rider, it'll 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 take off. I'm gonna dump my trash here. I don't think I'm going to. Uh... I think I'm going to be more like you and Marty, where the top speed I'm ever really going to be doing is probably 25. Yeah. Probably mostly 20, because I just don't have the I don't have the area like you got here where you can really just gun it and go. Yeah. Um, and I like the extra margin of safety of having a wheel that can do 30. Right. And I have all that extra acceleration for safety if I have to break or right. if I misinterpret something and I got to sprint across and get out of somebody's way, I've got it. Right. But you have the you have the, the margin of error to yeah, be able to yeah, do it. I, I like a, I, I like extra error. Yeah, so do I. I think that's something older people appreciate more than younger people. I agree. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Morning. Hey pup. One wheel the tree. I was just going to tell you that, yeah, this is this is where I, I uh, tried to body check the tree. It's right, right around here somewhere. Let me see. It's very close to here. Hi. Ah, here it is. Right here. <laughs> I don't see a mark on the tree. On your left. Lower acceleration in mind, so it's bigger uh, diameter wheel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lower wheel, you have more torque, more right. more torquey feeling. Yep. Yep. Yeah, because it's it's less than half the power, but the low end torque, I think I got a little bit more. And, um, just the just the weight of the wheel and the weight of the batteries and everything. And that that's the main difference I noticed with the 16X because it is a, a smaller diameter wheel that has more torque. Right. It, it that's, feels that's feels more torque. Traction to that wheel. Yep. Um, is that that off the line torque? And the fatter tire is cool. Yep. So do you ever do like much trail riding or? So what? Much trail riding? Are, are you off road at all? Or? There's one trail where I where I take my car to be serviced, and I can go through the woods and there's loose rocks and stuff. So. Oh okay. Um, I have to I have to get off and walk a little bit. Well, my feet need a break anyway. Oh, okay. Um, but there is some uh, some areas um, that are more narrow footpath trails. They're not really um, not really very wide. Mm. See, unless I turn my head, I can't hear. I can't hear shit. Exactly. Yeah. Put, put, put your finger. Oh, take your finger and put it up next to your strap. Point, point your finger to the sky. Yeah. Yeah, I guess that's all it really takes, right? Not that much. Yeah. So, did you hear about um, about Boosted basically going out of business? No. You didn't hear that? Boosted boards. Yeah. How can they go on a business? They laid off like almost all their employees. No shit. Yeah, well I guess they were funded primarily by venture capital. And it sounds 
it sounds like they really extended themselves when they came out with that scooter. I didn't know about the scooter. Yeah, well, they, they had a boosted scooter that they, that they announced last year. Because all I've seen is the videos that uh, Casey Neistat Yeah, made. well, he's the one that made him so, so popular. Yeah, but I mean, um, that kind of support, they'd be doing great. Yeah, they're, they're basically out of business. Wow. Yep. I did not expect that. They, they were like the gold standard as far as e-skateboards go, you know? Yeah, because I know they weren't the fastest or the longest range, but they were a good, solid, commercially... Well, they're expensive. That, that was a problem. Yeah. And I guess they, they said that they really struggled with the tariffs. I guess they said the tariffs were really hurting their business, too. Uh, yeah. So, you have to look it up. They're, they're, I think it was uh, Thursday or Wednesday or Thursday they announced that. Wow. Yep. I would never have guessed. All right, so I have Dan on the MSX now. 100 volt. He immediately notices the, the difference in the pedal angle compared to the 18 XL and the uh, thickness of the body of the shell. Yeah, I noticed the uh, the pads, the top of the pads could use a little rounding over. Yeah, yeah, they're a little uncomfortable. But I, I usually ride with my legs off the off the case mostly. Yeah, so. Get this uh, bow legged stand. Yeah. But you can feel the power if you lean into it on that thing. You can definitely feel the power. You say this has more acceleration than the 18XL? Mm, acceleration, it's probably similar. It's just, it's just that this keeps going and going and going. Right, right. And I did almost 34 on it in the first day. I haven't ridden the 18XL in a little bit. I'm just still amazed at how quiet it is. Just crazy. All I hear is just the rubber. Yeah. The rubber hitting the road. That's it. That, that, is, the, that is the strangest mm. thing is that you can have a device that's got, you know, over two horsepower. Can shove a guy through the air over yeah. hills and everything yep. at you know car speeds, and the thing is, all, all you hear is, is the sound of rubber. Yeah, oh. it's amazing. Remember when those uh, the first Razor scooters came out that were powered? Oh yeah. And the noise they made. Yep. They had like some kind of a brush motor. Yeah. <laughs> train. Yep. Come a long way. Nikad batteries probably. Looks like this guy is ready to take off. A little wobbly. Ay, ay, ay. I don't know if you can see it on camera. He was leaning to the right all the way until uh, touching down there. Yeah, I think he's, uh, that looked nerve wracking. I think he's got the crosswind, yeah. Yeah, wow. Size of plane. Yeah, That's it does, doesn't go. it? Yeah. I was looking at the exhaust lights on and I expected it to turn down slow. All right, so we are heading back to the truck and we're going to switch out vehicles. He wants to try out the 16X. He also brought his, his wheel is a King Song 14D which I've never ridden a Kingsong 14 series, so I'm gonna to try to ride that at some point. And we also have the M10 3 for fun, so. Good riding so far. Day's getting nicer. This way. All right, we're on the mulch trail. Giving Dan some uh, off-roading testing on the MSX. I am still on the 18L slash XL. This is actually nice and packed right now. Sometimes it's a, it's a lot muddier. Yeah, I can, I can see it looks like it's muddy, but it's actually not yeah. bad. Yeah, no, it's not bad at all, actually. Oh. Hi. Oh. Hi, buddy. That thing is pretty damn awesome. It's fun. <laughs> Took a while to learn, but it's fun once you do. Okay. Thanks. Like yeah, there you go. <laughs> I was wondering if I was going to get that <laughs> Well, yeah, if you wore my helmet especially. On your left. Hi guys. But again, with the bigger wheel, it, it really is better for handling this kind of stuff. Feels different, right? That is, that's. It's a different feeling. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dan's on the 16X and he immediately feels the difference, which I'm not surprised. That feels different than the other two, doesn't it? Very different. Yep. I think I'm actually gonna pull out the M103. Why not? 
Got to use more body to turn it. It's funny because I, I'm, I'm not allowing enough, and I, I can't quite make the turn that I want to make. And I run out of, run out of road. All right. Yeah, it's going to take me a minute to figure this oh, out. Oh, yeah. No, it's fine. Oh, that's good. Okay. M103 reacclimation period begin. You always feel wobbly when you're first on this thing. Unsure of yourself. Wow. Well, it's slower speeds, it seems. It's, the, yeah. Well, the fat tire makes it pretty stable at slow speeds. It's the turning. Yeah, high speed turning is really difficult. Yeah, it wants, it wants to go straight. He's experiencing the tracking characteristic of the uh, 16X. I'm still ride it backwards. Still feel a little shaky on it though, to be honest with you. Just don't get to ride it enough. All right, I reconsidered taking the... What's that? Yeah. There's, no, there's nothing real sharp you gotta deal with, but... As you can see... Yep. It's weird. If you really mean my stance is completely straight up and down and me and the wheel completely lean, but here, you can balance it off. Well, I'm those with the smaller wheels. I, you know, I can do most of my leading just by my feet. Right. I, I can just use my feet to do it. But yeah, with, with these, uh, you got to definitely use more body. We're over on the zoo side, just for a little bit, just to show them what the zoo looks like. We're going to go over the, um, the main greenway path into Baker Park next. I'm more used to it. Yeah. But I think if I... Uh, I'd still be cautious. I wouldn't, I'm not completely confident. It would take a while of yeah. uh, slowly building up to faster turns and just getting my confidence up to see how much I have to pull on it. Yeah. It's funny because you know I just jumped, jumped over that curb and it's the same jump that I'd go with something else, but there's no shock value. <laughs> you know, it's like being hit with a, a regular hammer versus being hit with a rubber hammer. You're right. It really softens a little bit. Yeah, when you're when you're used to riding 14-inch wheels exclusively, I mean, it's, just, it's so different with the bigger wheels. That's this section, nice. Yes, yeah, so that's Naples over there. What are those tanks on the right? Uh, water water holding tanks. It's a beautiful, beautiful park. I'll take you up. They have a nice playground up there for the kids. Ripstick. Yeah, there you go. My sister can do that. That looks harder than this. It does. <laughs> Probably is. <laughs> and there's, you can take the path up, up this terrace, too. Ascending the terrace. Just to go and see. Well, there's not a lot of high ground here, so you get a pretty good view of the surrounding area, except for the condos, of course. <laughs> the high-res condos. Nice. <laughs> One wheel guy. One wheel guy. We're heading to the beach. We're just going to go to the beach and reverse, just to say we did. Okay, welcome to the beach. We're here. No lift switch on the MSX. Oh, yeah? Mm-mm. Yeah, a lot of times you just give it a good push, you can get it to ride up on. Yeah, pretty much. Four or five times. It's awesome. Look how smooth the water is. There's like nothing going on out there. No waves at all. Strange, because it's windy. Yeah, because I went to the beach with my... Um... Uh, uh, just a programmable one, so I can... Because I got electric heat, and it's expensive as hell. Extreme! Oh, God. Yeah, I bet it's super expensive. What, is it like a heat pump kind of deal, or electric baseboard? Electric baseboard. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's like nine is the top yeah. right here. Um, we used to actually supplement with kerosene heater. Do you want to try the Molts trail on the way back on the uh, 16X? See how that feels? Yeah, we have to slow down a little bit. 
Oh, oh that's all right. Yeah. All right, we're back on the mulch trail. This time I'm doing it on the MSX and we're letting Dan try the uh, 16X back here. So how does that feel in comparison doing this? A bit better, not as much as uh, the difference between like what my wheel and the uh, and these two would do. Yeah. But definitely, uh, you can definitely tell there's a difference. You know, there's some bumps you can't even feel. Right. You know, the smaller roots and then the bigger ones, uh, you know, the, the, the bumpiness and the landing of it are so much different. And then, you know, with the softer tire, there's not as much rebound either. Yeah. And at slower speed, the maneuverability seems to improve so I can, you know, slalom through them uh, and pick your line really easy. Now, this is the first time I've taken the MSX uh, off the road, actually, so it feels good. Yeah. It feels real good. I'm going to try, people have been asking me to try to take this through the swamp, so I'm going to probably do the swamp sometime with this. Yeah, that was a good ride. Oh, my God. I really enjoyed that video. Beats the hell out of you, though. I it's it's, it's just... It's nice if it was shorter. Yeah, it's so long. It's too much of a good thing. Yeah. Just a little high speed MSXing. I almost have to, I can't even brace that on my leg at all, so I have to almost just hop on it. Yeah. I, I can't, I can't do a conventional I mount know, on you're, that you're, thing. You're, this thing is half as tall to your to Yeah. Me. Yeah. So I'm on uh, Dan's uh, 14D, which I've never been on a King Song 14 inch wheel before. <laughs> Dan is on the M10-3. How does that feel? Twitchy as hell. It's super twitchy. I remember the, the first video I, I got when I bought that thing, I was like ready to like send it back after the first 10 minutes. I'm like, this is ridiculous. This is terrible to ride. But um, then just something clicked. I'm like, oh my God, I can like, I can spin on like eight inches and I can actually reverse easily. And it takes a while to like retune your reflexes and just dampen everything down. And yeah. Responsive. This feels really good though, actually. Yeah, I, this is, this I can see why you like this wheel. It feels really good. I've heard lots of people uh, talk about the King Song 14s, how good they are, and now I, I can see what they're talking about. Yeah, power feels good. I wonder what uh, power motors in this thing. Uh, that's a 800 watt. Oh, okay. Well, that's that's what the M10 3 has. Yeah, but 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 you got 14 inch. Right. You got 10. Radius, and I got a five inch. Radius. <laughs> so, yeah. Power wise, we're matched, but torque wise, yeah. But it's still not bad. Mm -hmm. This wheel feels great. It really does. And um, it's, it's very responsive to reverse on. Has a similar instant torque as the M1003, to be honest with you. So this, this is a nice little package for sure. Great first wheel for people. And I actually have spare batteries that I just always forget to bring. <laughs> All right, so we're done. We've uh, been all over the place. Dan got to try out his hand at the M1003. I got to mess with the King Song 14B, which I, I really like. It, it feels great. And uh, it's not a very expensive wheel either, so that's a, that's a bonus as well. But uh, it's been fun. We've, we've uh, switched up combinations. We ran into some uh, uh, I assume it's a father and a son on a skateboard, electric skateboard, electric scooter out there, telling him about the uh, electric unicycle scene. It was a good time. So Dan, what, what? So you've ridden now the 16X and the 18XL and the MSX. What is your? What are your leanings? Like what? 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 Uh, feels I like. like a, I, I think I like the. Uh... I like the acceleration the 16X has. Uh, but you notice the difference of the way that accelerates compared to the 18XL? Yes. Oh, definitely. Okay. Uh, the, six, the 16X accelerates uh, not the same as my 14D, but it can accelerate and accelerate and accelerate right up to top end, which is way faster than I'm used to. Mm -hmm. And uh, and it's also got the, the weight and the you know inertia and everything. But that tire. Uh, will take me a while to get used to oh, yeah. the way it wants to stay up, and you really have to pull it over with your shins yep. uh, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a fast turn. But strangely enough, when you're in a slower turn, it's very familiar. It's just like my, my smaller wheel. 
Um, it's super, yeah, it's very stable when you're going slow. And the 18. And maneuverable. The 18XL, I, I like that one. That's a good all-arounder, I think, for me. Yep. Because um, it's, it's, it's predictable you know there's no there's no question it's just a, a bigger version of what i'm used to mm -hmm. so it is heavier so it, it, it does steer differently um but you kind of want that stability at the higher speed so you don't end up with uh speed wobbles or it having helps. a bump kind of jiggling mm -hmm. you too much I, I don't see either one of them as a clear standout so i may end up just have to buy both no, that'd, be, that'd be terrible yes. and then what about the msx uh the msx it seems like I have a taller pedal. When I step off on it, I feel like I'm really up Partially because that angle. And part of it is the, uh, the pedal angle, which wasn't, you know, bad. I know people complain, mm -hmm. but I thought it was fine. Yeah, some people totally hate that yeah, dihedral angle. I, I, so anyways, yeah, it's a good experience. We're going to be pushing back for home. Again, thank Dan for being here. And uh, that's all we have for now. Until next time, Duff and Dan, out. Looks totally safe. Delicate balancing act. First T. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's large. I just realized like 30 minutes ago, I haven't eaten lunch. Eating lunch is important.